Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and I got a preview of a cool new launcher to show you. This is from Chris Lacey, he is the developer of TweetLanes, that popular Twitter client I know a lot of you kids are using. So this looks fairly stock, right? You can see some things have moved, we'll get to that in a second, but I want to start up top, so the search bar is gone. Right, you see it's missing, but you've got a little magnifying glass to take care of that. Got a shortcut straight to Google Play, and then you've got the three menu buttons here, and that's kind of important. Uh, so we've got some options here, customize, and you see an option to manage your apps, and get to system settings straight from here, or tell your friends about Action Launcher, which I'm sure they want you to do. Uh, system settings takes you to the stock system settings. Nothing there you wouldn't expect. Uh, same thing for manage apps. So that is your typical manage app screen within the settings. You can just get it directly from the launcher, which is cool. Customize is the big deal here, though. So Action Launcher actually takes things that kind of were taken away in ice cream sandwich and jelly bean and puts them back here. So you remember back in the day, you used to hold down on the home screen to uh, add apps and widgets and all that. And that's gone now, right? But you can do it here or you can use the menu. And here he's brought together the apps, widgets, and wallpapers all in one place. So to put an app icon back on the home screen, that still works like normal, right? Just drag it on there. We're used to that. But just tap it and you see you have more options up top. So you can delete Google Play and then you can get to the app info directly from there, which is actually really quick, much faster than having to go into the... Uh, settings normally or in other launchers you can drag up widgets are here as well and that's cool so you know just normal stuff you pick the one you want you drag it on there and you can also get to wallpapers that's nice to have in the same spot because that got moved out in ice cream sandwich and i was kind of sad to see them split up it was annoying and frustrating not that frustrating but confusing for new users so but the big deal is that the app drawer has been moved to the top left here it's almost reminiscent of the old action bar but here you get a list right instead of the grid that uh, you have in normal launchers. You get this app list and look how fast that is. It's really, really smooth. I can't wait for you to try it. You can hop up and down. You can use this little scroll there as a normal typical scroller too, so that's cool. It's a big list. That's every app I have installed on this phone. Uh, Lacey says that he's going to add some options to pare that down later, but for now, you see every app that's installed. What I really love is the uh, animation here and the motion. So you can also get to it by hitting the uh, home button again when you're on the home screen. Or, and this is my favorite, see I'm on the left hand uh, home screen there. And then if you keep going to the left, it opens up. And if you drag it really slowly, you can watch your app just kind of scrunch and rawr. And I'm having way too much fun with that. But it really is nicely done. So this is going to be a freemium app. Uh, it'll be free for the basic use, and then you can upgrade for more options. Don't have pricing yet. Don't have availability. It'll be coming out fairly soonish, uh, but have a lot to look forward to and can't wait to see what everybody else thinks about it. So that's it. See you later. Hey, this is Alex from Android Central, and only the official Lloyd t-shirt gives me the quick energy I need to write about telephones on the internet.